come the second time and think you'll have. No. But nice time you will take care. Play someone is knocking. What happened? Touch what happened? I'm watching my son. I'm watching my son. Is it Kukumi or what? What about the man? So the same thing is what happened. Not in a registry mode. Aya, kuja. Oye, muna yi. Kuja, kuja, kuja. Kasa muna fai nini. Sina kuye. Nini? Kwa. Awa, mpuna rekoi. The Attorney General of Bungela Munainchi. Today, we have launched an application number 33 at the East African Court of Justice seeking to hold the Republic of Kenya liable for violating our obligations under the East African Community Charter. The East African Community Charter is very clear that all state parties must uphold and implement the universal and fundamental human rights. And today, we are here to complain that the Republic of Kenya, which is a member of East African community, has violated our obligations under the Charter. And we are specific that this, is, this was done uh, one month ago when the countrywide demonstrations by the youths uh, opposing, in opposition to the illegitimate government was launched in Kenya. And the government deployed state security officers to repress the constitutionally sanctioned demonstrations, which resulted in unprecedented bloodshed and sword sora within the Republic of Kenya. And we as a citizen of Kenya, we have no confidence, we have no faith in the judicial systems of Kenya to provide justice in this matter. So we came here to charge the Republic with these gross violations of her obligations under the Charter. And specifically, we are seeking an order for a convention of the Council of Ministers under Article 15 of this East African Community Char uh, Treaty to consider the question of Kenyan membership if it continues to violate her obligations under the treaty. So we want the convention to take necessary measures to uh, undertake appropriate sanctions against the Republic of Kenya for such violations. Number two, we are here because there are individuals who have command responsibility for the crimes that were committed in Kenya. And all, all their names have been listed in this application, reference 33 of 2024 before the court. Number one is the Honorable William Ruto, who is the president of Kenya. Number two is Rigadi Gashagwa, is the deputy president of Kenya. Number three is Kindiki Kithure Professor, who is in charge of interior and uh, national security. Number four is uh, Jafet Kuome, who is the inspector general and former inspector general for that matter. And number five is Adamson Bungay. We want the court to issue an order committing the said five people to criminal justice system so that they are individually 
held responsible for the violations or the orders they issued for the state security officers to commit unprecedented violations and horrendous crimes against the people of Kenya. Lastly, we are asking the court to consider if Kenya does not implement immediate measures so that it conforms to our obligations under the treaty, to consider revoking the membership of Kenya, including but not limited to suspension. But if Kenya insists on not complying with the, our obligations, we demand that Kenya be expelled from the community. Because the values and the principles of the community are very clear, that all state parties must strive to uphold, must strive to implement the fundamental and universal principles of human rights that Kenya has largely flouted. So in conclusion, we, Bunge la Monainchi, especially under the leadership of Francis Aweno, who is the distinguished president of Bunge la Monainchi, we made a pledge, which we are ready to abide by, that any person who violates the rights of Kenyans must be held accountable. All the instruments that are responsible for safeguarding the dignity and human rights of the people of Kenya, whether international, whether domestic, whether regional, will be invoked to ensure that those who are responsible for commissions of such crimes are held accountable under the law. Thank you very much. My name is Francis Awino. I'm the current president of Bungela Monainchi. And at the same time, I'm the people's president. The reason why we are here in Tanzania, Arusha, it is because after Kenyans were maimed, some of them arrested, and some of them killed on the recent demonstration that, were, that was done by Bungela Monainchi and the young people of our nation, we felt like uh, we won't find justice in the country on the basis that um, the people who are directly involved were, could ge jeopardize the, the justice uh, system of our, car our country, Kenya. And that's why we felt like um, in Tanzania, Arusha, under the East African community, we will find justice. And to prove on that and to add a point on, on that, we came here in the morning, we filed... Um, our petition or, um, or our, our application and by 4, 5 p.m. we already have the orders to go and serve in the country, in our country Kenya. And the orders say that uh, within 45 days Kenya should respond to our application, failure to which we shall be given orders and orders that will favor a common monainchi. And simply because we are here because of a common monainchi, we are proud and we feel like we will find justice in this East African court. Yes. Secondly, we felt like Kenya is, is unfair under human rights uh, issues because uh, like three months ago and two months ago, we saw in Madare houses were being demolished and people were forcefully evicted. We saw people, uh, people, that, uh, people were maimed and killed in the recent demonstrations. Right now in Kenya, the country is talking about um, vetting CSS, which they have made Kenyan people fools and start forgetting what they, they did to the Kenyan one month ago. And that's why we feel like the families of those people that were evicted, the families of those people their houses were, uh, were demolished. The families of those people that died deserve their rights. They deserve to be compensated and they deserve to get their rights. And those people who are involved, they deserve to get, the, they, they deserve to go to jail because the people that their rights were committed deserve their rights. Thank you very much.